Hey Cancer, my name is Crystal. No, not Cancer. Water signs. Sorry, water signs, water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing an oracle reading. I don't know what it's about. We'll just see what uh, when the cards come out. I'm going to pull some from each of my decks that I have here. We have Imagine, To The Sea, Chaos and Conflict. Okay, maybe I feel like you're trying to... Um, Leave some type of conflict and imagine is about like manifesting. So maybe you're trying to leave um, some type of situation that's really hard for you. Something that's really um, you're struggling in. I feel like when you leave though, you might still have your eyes on the past. Um, only reason why I see that is to the sea. She's in her boat, right? But she has the little binoculars behind her. So it's like, you know, the, the message of this is like, try not, once you leave something, leave it, okay? Don't try to keep bringing that into your into your future because that can allow, you know, some mess ups here or whatever. You don't want to bring your past problems into the future. And if you're going to leave something, you know what I mean? Just just let it go. Not, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but and then it says wedding. This involves a marriage, all right? So this situation involves marriage, but it can also involve something that you're committed to so it could be a job it could be family it could be whatever situation it is i feel like a wedding is something that you're committed to so like i said this is not a love reading this is just whatever comes so whatever you're committed to i feel like this is what you're walking away from because now you're starting to see the true colors of things the reason why i say that is because the dra the zebra is wearing giraffe skin but it's like shedding away you know what i mean i don't know if you guys could see that because my camera still looks but um i feel like you are leaving people who may not be so truthful to you it says keep an open mind, all right? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? So maybe if you are single or whatever, this could be saying that if you meet somebody or whatever and they pop into your life and you're like, oh no, well, you know what? He's not checking all my boxes off. It's not like six foot tall and like brown eyes, blah, 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 you know what I mean? But it's like, you know what? Give people a shot because you never know. And then you have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So if you are in a relationship or if you're having a problem with any type of per any person, it's like, you know what, the universe wants you to have a deep conversation with them and express your feelings and your wants and your you know, your likes and your dislikes because, you, you know, people you, things can't get solved if you're not really expressing the problem, right? So I feel like something needs to be spoken about. Maybe you're leaving and maybe that needs to be spoken about or maybe you're about to leave and I feel like a conversation may help with this, you know what I mean? To be able to put you at least on the same page. Um, you have solitude. In, silent, in silence, peace prevails, all right? So you might need to take some time, especially with the Imagine card. It is also about, like, meditation and stuff like this. So it may be a time for you to sit back and meditate, even if you're not a good meditator or something like that and you don't like doing it. Take some time to yourself. Go relax in, like, the bath or something with some candles or just take some time out to yourself walking in nature. You can do whatever you want. Watch a movie, read a book, whatever it is. It's, like, right now. That in order to have some type of peace or whatever, it's like you need some time to yourself. I feel like you can't get away from other people. Maybe you're always constantly surrounded by people. So maybe this is why I say in solitude. Even if you have to rent a hotel room, right? You know what I mean? Freaking go rent a hotel room and go take some time to yourself. You have Wondrous Universe, Walk in Beauty, all right? So I'm going to read that to you, Wondrous Universe, Walk in Beauty. I feel like that's just saying, you know what I mean? Do what you feel like you're called to do and be proud of yourself. Be proud with what you're doing. Wondrous Universe. Okay, this says, you live in a beautiful and wondrous universe. You're a beautiful being. Take time to see and cherish the wonders of life wherever you go. It transforms your life. There is remarkable beauty within you. Simply acknowledging it allows it to surface even more. The time you take to create beauty in your home will manifest in your life in native traditions. Walking in beauty means to honor all the natural cycles of life and experience a sacred communion with the creator of all things, including oneself. So yeah, just be happy with you and just know that you are all that you need, you know what I mean? And just try to find the beauty in every single thing. Like even like when things don't work out for you, try to just realize, okay, maybe it's not working out. Maybe um, because maybe the universe is blocking me from something that I wouldn't like, you know, something that you don't see coming. You have wise leader, okay, you're a cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, you guys are water signs, very intuitive and most intuitive people. Also, water signs are also like healers and stuff like that, very emotional, very sensitive and stuff like that. Um, you are a beacon for others. You are the light for others. So a lot of people may um, come to you, okay, for like their problems or when they need help or need somebody to talk to. I feel like you guys are good people for other people to express their problems to because you guys give good advice. You guys are honest. You guys are real. You're open. You're trustworthy. You know what I mean? You have choices. There's definitely a choice that needs to be made right here, especially with to the sea and chaos and conflict. 
I feel like you are like manifesting a new beginning, whether you're walking away or trying to fix it, I'm not sure. But there is a choice that needs to be made, and you're a little bit conflicted right now, okay? You have the High Priestess of Earth. Of Earth. This is now time to ground yourself. I'm going to read that, too. This is time to ground yourself and really, you know, find things that you want to do, you know? And find things that make you happy. It says, you know... High Priestess of Earth symbolizes all things in the physical world, your body, the body of Earth, and the things to surround yourself with. Now is the time to eat well, get rest, connect to power of Earth by walking barefoot. Be mindful, knowing you are a child of flesh and bone who came alive through the blending of Earth's magic and your spirit. If your question is about a situation with a friend or a love interest, know that the High Priestess of Earth is asking you to wait until you see tangible evidence of what you seek to understand about this relationship. Perhaps a first kiss or some shared activity will give you more insight into your questions. Stay grounded and wait and see. So they're like saying, you know what, take some time before you go ahead and make this choice, before you go ahead um, and make this choice of whatever you're thinking about walking away. The universe wants you to pay attention because, you know what I mean, um, and a lot of things to just slowly fall into place. Yeah, you got complicated on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is a complicated situation for you, a complicated um, issue, and you're not sure what you want to do. The universe wants you to go ahead and take your time. And you know what I mean? That's why it's saying solitude. And imagine, you need time to meditate, get your mind right before you go ahead and make any decisions. Make sure that you know exactly what you're doing before you're doing it. And then the hermit card comes out. You need deep thought about this. You need introspection. You need to find out what you want and what you don't want. This is a time for healing. This is also about being the beacon of life for other people. Other people come to you because you're a healer, like I said. Alright, you got the Seven of Wands. This may be you trying to push other people out of your life because maybe you're feeling like you can't trust them, okay? But the universe, like I said, they're saying for you to wait and see what happens. Don't rush. So if you're rushing to leave, don't. You got the world, okay, this is success. This is also the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. It doesn't mean the ending of a cycle like the ending of a relationship or something like that. It can just mean, mean that things are going to start changing, okay? And it's going to, by the way, it's going to be, the newer cycle is going to be something different than what it used to be before. Because obviously the older cycle didn't work out. Okay, you have Knight of Wands charging towards your passions, right? What else? Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, then three of cups. You may be feeling like um, left out in the cold right now. You may be feeling like, you know, unloved, unwanted, like nobody wants to help you. Nobody's ever there for you. You're always there for them and nobody else is there for you. You know what I mean? But, um, you know what I mean? Just do you. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Just do you and do what makes you happy, right? You got the three of cups and the ace of pentacles. I do see a new start for you coming in. This is a new door opening up. It's also the luckiest card out of the deck. It's like all the crap that you've been through in your past, right? And how you've dealt with it and how you like to help other people. And like, you know what I mean? You never give up and you keep on pushing forward and you still stay happy through not through everything. You know what I mean? It's like even if you're sad, if other people ask you how you're doing, you'll say, I'm okay. You know what I mean? Like the universe sees that. So the universe is about to bless you with a gift. You may not see that coming. You know what I mean? Let's see what you don't see coming. On the bottom of the deck is the four of wands. Commitment. Alright, so maybe this thing is going to be able to be worked out. If not, it's just saying you're making a commitment towards something. You can be making a commitment towards promising to do things better for you. You know, promising to take care of you. Go, You know, uh, making a commitment for a career. Finally making up your mind of what you want to do in life. You know what I mean? Anything like that. But I feel like there is a commitment coming for you at the bottom of the deck that you do not see. It could also mean marriage. You know what I mean? Like I said, the wedding. This, this involves a wedding. So um, definitely with the wedding and, and the four of wands. First of all, Four of Wands is 11-11. It's new doors opening up for you. And it's definitely something that you're going to be very committed to. So I don't know what this is. But, um, yeah, that's the end of my reading for now, guys. Um, so if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Toodles.